अलस्य मूलम विज्ञानम स्ट्रेंथ ओरिजिन इज इन साइंस हेलो आई एम लक्ष्मण महेश्वरी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आल्सो नोन एज डीआरडीओ द मिनिस्टर इन चार्ज ऑफ डीआरडीओ इज द डिफेंस मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया एंड इट कम्स अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस हेंस करेंटली इट इज अंडर मिस निर्मला सीतारमन it is headquartered in new delhi and g satish reddy is the secretary department of defense research and development and also the chairman of defense research and development organization drdo was formed in 1958 by the amalgamation of the technical development establishment of the indian army and the directorate of technical development and production with the defense science organization back then it was a small organization with just 10 establishments or laboratories in the present time it has grown multidirectionally in terms of the variety of subject disciplines number of laboratories achievements and stature it has a network of more than 50 laboratories it has over 5000 scientists and about 25000 other scientific technical and supporting personnel DRDO's areas of expertise include aeronautics, armaments, electronics, combat vehicles, engineering systems, instrumentation, missiles, advanced computing and simulation, special materials, naval systems, life sciences, training, information systems and even agriculture. Let us now see the contribution of DRDO in aeronautics. light combat aircrafts tejas provides the indian air force with a modern multi role fighter drdo's project practically developed the aviation industry in india there has been substantial progress in the field of avionics flight control systems aircraft propulsion and composite structure along with aircraft design and development talking about dhruv helicopter drdo assisted hindustan aeronautics with its program which gave birth to HAL Dhruv and HAL HJT 36 DRDO has developed two unmanned aerial vehicles called UAVs they are Nishant tactical UAV and Lakshya pilotless targeted aircraft Mihir Sonar developed by DRDO is an airborne dunking sonar it has been cleared for installation on board advanced light helicopter variants of the sonar for ship borne installations are also being considered by the indian navy now let us come to armaments insas is a standard battle rifle for the indian army and paramilitary units developed by drdo pinaka is a multi barrel rocket launcher which has seen significant success pinaka mk1 system has a striking distance of 40 kilometers and has been successfully inducted in the indian army pinaka mk2 program which will have 60 kilometer range has cleared trials prahar is a new long range tactical rocket system which has a strike range of 100 to 120 kilometers and is capable of payload of 250 kg its maximum speed is 4.7 mach This is the successor of the successful Pinaka project. The Indian field gun developed by DRDO is a 105 mm field gun. It has been developed for the Indian Army and is in production. This was a significant challenge for Ordnance Factory Board. Various issues were faced including reliability issues and metallurgical problems. However, they were rectified over time. Now let us talk about radars. Indra is a series of 2D radars which are meant for army and air force use. They were the first high power radar developed by DRDO. Rajendra is a passive electronically scanned array radar. It is a multifunction radar which is capable of surveillance, tracking and engaging low radar cross section targets. It is the heart of the Akash 
surface to air missile system. Now let us talk about supercomputing. DRDO's Anurag developed the PACE Plus supercomputer for strategic purposes. The latest variant of the PACE series is the PACE Plus Plus system. Project Chitra is a system with a computational speed of 2 to 3 teraflops utilizing commercial off the shelf components and the open source Linux operating system. We are moving on to the combat vehicles. Arjun tank which was designed by DRDO was accepted by the Indian Army. It is now in production at Heavy Vehicles Factory Awadi. It is similar to the tanks developed by Western nations. It was originally designed in response to a possible Pakistani acquisition of the M1 Abrahams. The Mark II version of Arjun is already developed. Now let us talk about Daksh. Daksh is a remotely operated vehicle which is basically a tracked robotic vehicle. It can be used for remote explosion of explosive devices. It is a fairly sophisticated robot which has articulated gripper to pick up objects, ability to traverse difficult terrains including staircases, it even has a water jet projector to blow up explosive packages. Each unit of Daksh costs about 9 million rupees. This video was about some of the marvelous accomplishments of DRDO and brought to you by Lakshman Maheshwari. Please like, subscribe and share to keep receiving important updates. Watch out for part 2. Have a good day.